In the last couple of videos, I added a new domain controller to my domain, but I didn't follow a good naming convention for my server names. My first domain controller I called Win2008DC1, basically saying, okay, it's my Windows 2008 server, and it's domain controller number one. That's its intended role. But when I added my second server, I was using a generic sort of name because I just add, I just was building the server earlier, and I called it Win2008SRV. Well, that really doesn't describe how I'm going to be using that server. So instead, I'd like to rename it to be Win2008DC2. Well, is that easy or is that difficult? What do you think? Well, if this was the Windows 2000 days, this would be a nightmare. Because you back then, they really didn't like you renaming domain controllers. But these days, there's plenty of utilities that actually can handle the domain rename. And it can actually be done through the graphical user interface. And there are some command line options that would let you do it as well. But we're just going to do it in the GUI. Now, the first place, could we do it from here? Could we just go up here and right click on Win 2008 SRV? Well, no, you can't do that because this information is in the Active Directory and it's what's been reported. And when you create things in the AD, often there's a lot of fields that are uh, made and set and not built for day-to-day -day changing. But what happens if we go over to the actual server we want to rename? Right now we're on Win 2008 DC1. So if we go over to our other server, this is the one called Win 2008 SRV. Now let's go ahead and click on the Start button, right click on my computer, and select Properties. And we see here it's called Win 2008 SRV. And if we click Change Settings, we can change this. Oh, wait, before we change it, we have a warning here. Domain controllers cannot be moved from one domain to another. They must, if they, if you want to do that, you first have to demote them down to be normal servers, then DC promote them back in. Renaming this domain controller may cause it to become temporarily unavailable to users and computers. Ooh, so this could basically make this domain controller not available for a while to these users. Fine if it's just a domain controller all by itself, but what happens if it has file shares or folder shares like we're going to discuss in the next chapter? Well then you'd want to be really careful about changing this stuff because you could potentially break those things. But for now we can go ahead and rename it. And in fact they reference us take a look at help and support to see if there's any other issues about renaming uh, domain controllers. So here we are, Win 2008 SRV. I'm going to click on more and we're going to, ooh, nope, that's not what we're after. We just could need to change it right here. My bad. We're going to change it to DC2, Win 2008 DC2. Click OK and we'll click OK again. Once it comes up and says it needs to restart before we can do anything, we'll hit close and we'll restart the system. Now, I won't make you sit through the whole reboot up of the machine. It may take an extra minute or two just while it sorts out the naming, but it should come up fairly quickly after doing a server rename. And when I come back, we'll see the results of our reboot. Okay, our server is ready for us to log back in. So let's go ahead and log back in. Now, the domain membership won't have changed, and in fact, back in the old days of building a domain, or renaming a domain, like in 2000 and, uh, or in Windows 2000's Active Directory, you would have had to DC promo it down so it was no longer a domain controller, rename the server, and then DC promo it back up. Luckily, these days, we can do all of that on the fly. Okay, well, here we are. We're logged back in, so let me update my uh, caption on the screen. I just have this little icon here just to make it easy so we can tell what server we're working on. And this is DC2. And let's go over to DC1. And over on DC1, hmm, it shows DC1 and SRV. Oh, wait, we need to refresh because this is all query-based. So as you click on things on the screen, that's when it actually looks them up. And look at that. We hit F5, and now we see Win 2008 DC1 and DC2. Now... How does that impact? How do those computer names impact the servers? Well, let's go take a look at DNS. If we click on the Start button 
and we look at administrative tools and we go to DNS, what we see is the information about the domain controllers is going to be held in the domain that shows up in Active Directory users and computers. Or sorry, not Active Directory, in the DNS manager. In the DNS manager, we see the forward lookup zone here for learn at first.ad. This is where all of our computer accounts will be, including Win 2008 DC1 and DC2. Notice it's taken away the one that was called SRV. And as various things happen in the system, what you find is that there are different variations of these entries. There's some in, in here under TCP. If you're looking for Kerberos or, or uh, LDAP, you go looking for the specific servers based on their name. Hmm. And it looks like we're still seeing some Win 2008 SRV information because this server hasn't fully, the name change hasn't fully propagated around our network, which is why I usually suggest is after a rename, let the server come up and then do a reboot again. Just do a controlled reboot. So we'll click start, shut down, restart. And that way it gets a chance to get all this information stored up into uh, the system. So we'll reboot that server, come back to DC1, and eventually we'll know everything's right if we do a quick check of our DNS records and they all start showing Windows or Win 2008 DC1 and DC2. Then you'll know everything's in the right place. But that's why they said moment it may be momentarily unavailable when we did that rename. And that's exactly what's happening because we may not be able to find it. We may be discovering the wrong information temporarily. But it should all come right because this information here is replicated using the Active Directory.